Hey Math 43, Ms. Abreu here. I want to take a moment and show you around our Canvas course. So here's our homepage. Um, right now it's got the welcome letter that I sent out this week. Uh, each week I will update the, the homepage and it'll have new problems on it for you to try out, your, your current announcement. So just know that, that that page will update every day. On the left here, you see you've got a couple of options. You can go right into your modules, you can go over to files, or you can read the syllabus. As you go through the orientation module, which will be the first module you need to take a look at, um, you'll, you'll get an explanation as to what a module looks like and how to get to the syllabus. So in a moment, I'm gonna spend some time on files. That's what this video will primarily deal with. But before I head over to files, I just wanna scroll down a bit and if you head down here, you can see this giant green button will always be your current module. And when you're starting the class, we start with the orientation module. Or you can, again, go to modules, assignments, or quizzes. If you click on this link, um, it'll take you to my virtual office. And we're going to use Zoom for a virtual office meeting. Um, it's, it's like Skype, but it, it's meant for business meetings. If you don't have a Zoom account, you can create one for free. And even if you don't want to create one, if you just click on that link, it'll, it'll start it up for you. All right, so let, let me scroll back up and let's click on files. All right, so let me get that going. Now, there's a lot of files here for you, but I think the, the, the one that you'll spend the most time in is class handouts by chapter. Um, you'll probably spend a little bit of time in review packets sample midterms, sample finals and their answers, um, and maybe you'll go to tables and flow charts, but I, I really think up here will be the, the folder that you spend the most amount of time in. Keep in mind, everything I give to you in class, it's up here on Canvas. So if you lose something or you're absent someday, it's all here for you. But I've put a lot of resources into this class handouts by chapter. So let me click on this, and here are the 13, yes, 13 chapters we've got to get through this semester. And let me just unpack chapter one, because the rest of the chapters are, are built the same way. So here you're going to see a bunch of files, and let's let's just talk about them. Um, I, I don't want to talk about deep dives yet. We'll we'll do that in class in a couple of weeks. What I want to go down to is the the third and fourth file, third and fourth file here. Um, so you see it says lecture, and then lecture key. And it has the word calculator in there just because we're going to be using the TI-83 and TI-84 calculators. So this file right here, and it'll take a moment to, to load, this is your lecture packet. So for each chapter, I wrote out or I typed up every example that we're going to do in class. Your packets also include extra examples that we won't necessarily get to in class, but this is the blank file. So this is literally what I will give you in class, and then typically you'll write your answers. In, in, in these spaces here, right? So all of this, you can see all this blank space, um, you'll be putting your answers in there. Let me close that out for a bit. The next one I wanna show you is the one that says key. All right, now this one is the answers, oh sorry, is the lecture packet with the answers filled in. So here I am highlighting what the answers for example one are and the answers for example two. And you see me just writing them out for you here. And as we go through all of this, if I start scrolling down, all of your answers are written out here. So if I go over an example in class and you didn't quite catch it or you're not remembering how I got there, you have the key written out for you or typed out for you. And, and that's one way of getting the, the lecture key. I have a different way that I'll show you in just a moment. So that's your basic rundown of anything in here. There's always going to be the blank version and then the key. And when we do a math interlude, there's the blank version and then the key. And um, I also put in here your homework solutions. And you might be thinking like, oh, you, you gave us the homework solutions? Yes, I did. Um, I, I don't want you to copy them. That's not where learning um, will take place. But I do want you to have that resource so that if you get stuck on a pro homework problem, you can take a look at the answer, take a look at the solutions, and maybe that will unstick you. And if it doesn't, We'll still go over any questions you have in class, all right? So I don't want you to think you can't ask them in class. Again, I just really want you to hear that you have all of these resources available to you because I want you to be successful in here. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what a summary keynote is in a bit, like in a couple of weeks. It's basically the Apple version or the Mac version of PowerPoint. 
um, and we'll, we'll work on sampling uh, sampling techniques with a partner in class and then here will be the key for it. So you have all sorts of stuff in your files and I would really encourage you to just click around in Canvas and see what you have available because I put a lot in there. Now let me go over to modules for just a moment. I'm going to point out your resource module. All right, so you've got these these resources available to you for the calculator, right? So how to do those calculator functions when we get there, what happens when an error message pops up, maybe you're not so sure about your algebra. Um, as we go through the earlier chapters, I've got some um, resources there for you, and then just the lecture videos resource page. And I, I will explain the lecture videos in just a moment. I'm going to collapse the orientation module because what I really want to focus on right now is the week one module. This is very representative of a typical module in this class. So your week one module, it'll always start with, or any module will start with a bird's eye view and it'll end with a summary. And the lecture videos and assignments will be somewhere in the middle. And since we're just in week one, we only have, we'll only be in chapter one and we only have one um, assignment in this module. Keep in mind, you have a few in the orientation module. All right, so bird's eye view. This is just, hey, week at a glance. When are things due? Like, what are we going over in class? And when is your homework due? And if you scroll down here, this is my best guess at how long these assignments might take you. All right, and then when they're due. Now, if I hit next, this will take us to our first lecture video page. So for every example I do in class, I have a lecture video that I put up on YouTube. I recorded myself. It was a real interesting time recording myself for that long. Um, I have recorded myself in my office doing the homework, or not the homework, the, the lecture examples. Um, and I put them up on YouTube and I linked them here in Canvas. So, you know, here's examples one through three and it goes through the whole packet. Now, like I said, I put more examples in the packet than we'll have time to do in class. So these are the ones that I will definitely do in class. If you're struggling a little bit or you feel like you need some extra practice, here they are. All right, check those examples out and then you can start to get a little bit more comfortable with the material. And, and if that's not enough, I also went over to Khan Academy or usually Khan Academy um, and I, I found some extra examples that deal with the topics we're, um, we're looking at in these chapters. So you can go through and say, oh, you know what? I struggled with categorical versus numerical data. Let me, let me take a look at that video. And then the last thing I put here was um, calculator functions. We will be using the TI-83 or 84 calculator. So for every calculator function that we use in this chapter, I've got a video that explains it. Keeping in mind that as you go through um, these, these examples here, I, I do go over the calculator functions, but if you're just like, man, I don't remember how to make a scatter plot or enter data into lists, just click on that video. It'll get you there directly. If I scroll to the bottom of this now and hit next, this will be your first homework assignment, at least the module one homework assignment. Again, you've got a couple that are up in the orientation module. And we'll talk about this in class, but those will be the next things in any, um, any module. And modules will always end with a weekly summary. I will talk about what you should have done this week. I will talk about what I'm hoping you learn, like these should look like familiar vocabulary terms by the end of week one. And then what are we taking away as we move from week one into week two? All right, so that, if, let, me, let me click over here. That is your basic look, or your look, I should say, at, at your week one module. And you can see these green check marks here. You have to view every item in a module to unlock the next module. Now, I haven't unlocked module two yet because we're not there. Um, it'll unlock in, in a couple weeks or really close to, to the date. It'll unlock. When did I say this one will unlock? There it is. January 17th at 8 a.m. Um, but if you haven't completed the week one module, the week two module will remain locked for you. So that's my way of making sure we go through all of that content. So anyways, that's, that's your look at your Canvas course. We'll be going over this in class, but it's a great idea to familiarize yourself with this Canvas uh, course as much as you can. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.